Hey guys, it's Lex here with another Fragrance video. So, we knew this was going to happen. The most hated scent ever, which everyone seems to just despise. And it's Paco Bands Invictus. So, I remember when I done my Thallium video, I made a bit of a joke about the Thallium bot, how it looks like a trophy. And how they try to make this look like a trophy and they end up screwing it up. Well, here's a classic example. This is a lot more expensive than this. But this looks better and smells better than this. So... What sense does that make? Now I made a joke about, you know, two gladiators fighting. The winner gets this as a trophy. And the loser, who's, you know, kind of dead, gets his ashes in this, which looks like a goddamn arm. So yeah, that basically sums it up. So, we're going to get started on the bottle. Now the funny thing about the bottle is the fact that they got everything about the bottle right, except the shape, okay? So, a bit of history. This came out in 2013, and yeah, it was not really well accepted when it came out. So, I thought I got a bit of hate it didn't deserve, so I decided to do a first impression. So, here's a full review, about a year later. So, let's get started. Bottle design. So, we have Invictus at the top there. We have Pack Ban on the back. We have this trophy-style bottle, which looks more like an urn. Um, it looks very unfinished at the bottom. I have some information there. And that's about it. The sprayer. On top, Paco Band there, Invictus, and some information on the bottom. That's it. Quite basic, but well done. See, the way they placed things on this was actually pretty good. Invictus on the top, Paco Band on the bottom. It was quite well done, apart from the fact that the bottle looks terrible. And there's no excuse, because look at Thallium, and that's cheaper. And this bottom bit here with the glass, I think just looks unfinished. It looks like there's no, there should be some plastic or something here to carry it up. It looks like they just done the top and just decided, ah, we've ran out of space, let's just leave it. We've ran out of plastic, we're out of budget here, you know, just leave it. So yeah, so let's talk about the sprayer. So, how's it spraying? Not a bad sprayer, but it, like, some of it sprays out and you can see some of it leaks at the bottom. Which kind of annoys me. It's also a bit uncomfortable because you have to like reach over and spray it down, which can be a bit uncomfortable. So, yeah, not the best, but not the worst. So, how's it smell? Must smell terrible after all the heat is getting. Hmm, it actually smells quite nice, believe it or not. Which apparently smells absolutely ridiculous, but I think it's quite nice. Quite sporty, sort of fresh, aquatic, quite sugary, like a sugar bomb. And kind of sexy smelling, actually, if I'm honest. Really doesn't smell that bad. I think the problem is people see 1 million and stuff and expect this to be even better. And the fact that it didn't meet the standards of 1 million was why people are let down. I have to admit, I can't understand. It doesn't smell that good. Considering it came from the house who made, you know, Paco Ban Poor Rome and XS and Masterpieces like that and Ultraviolet. They were great scents. So what, what the fuck happened? I mean, what, did your perfumer die? What happened? Did they overdose on cocaine? Like, what the fuck? So, yeah. Smells pretty nice. Now, some people like to compare this to Diesel Only the Brave. Now, apparently, you know, that must be a really legit comparison. So let's find out. Here's Only the Brave here. Let's find out if it's legit, if they're just talking shit, as they usually do in 99.7 of the times. You know, Versace Evo smells at one mind. So here's Only the Brave, and here's, you know, let's, let's compare them. Invictus Only the Brave. Quite fresh. So if this smells the same as this, I shouldn't be able to smell anything, right? Because my nose is currently already smelling this. So... Oh wait, I can smell something, which also means it isn't the same. So yeah. Very fresh. Quite sexy. Really good for clubbing. Quite decent quality. Um, for, it's quite synthetic, obviously, but it's decent quality. Really nice and projecting very heavy. So yeah, not bad at all. I prefer only the Brave to Invictus, without a doubt, but they do not smell similar. They do not smell similar. I just compared them on my wrists. What more proof do people need? For the people that keep saying they smell similar, please take my life advice. Cocaine is a nasty habit. Stop snorting up your nose because it will fuck your sense of smell. Please stop it for your own benefit. Don't end up like Paco Rabanne's perfumer who overdosed on cocaine. That's why I smell so bad. He probably made it while he was going to have it. He probably made it while he was going into cardiac arrest. <coughs> okay, that's a bit harsh. I take that back. So, I've gone a bit the smell. Now, how's this perform? Now, my experience, this one is not a beast, but it's not a wimp either. I get about 8 hours, sometimes 10 with this one, and that's when I'm, in the last hour I'm really digging my nose in to see it. Um, projection's about an arm's length for the first hour, about an arm's length, and then half that for the second hour, and then maybe a couple of inches here for the third hour, and then it becomes a skin scent. It isn't a wimp, it's not a beast either, but it's really good for clubbing. Yeah. Definitely, I think it'd be pretty good for clubbing, but we'll go into that later. So... How many sprays for this one? I would say six in real
really cold winter's day. I wouldn't wear this in winter, but if you did, six sprays should be fine, without a doubt. Really cold wind, six sprays, maybe even seven if you're really wanting dice, but six should be fine. Autumn, uh, you know, five. Spring, maybe three, three or four. And in summer, you know, um, two or three and you'll be fine. So sprays about five or six. Uh, just adjust for the weather. So that's how many sprays. Age group. This one is, you can wear this one quite versatile actually. Six, you can wear this at age 16. You can wear this at age 60. Really, um, age group shouldn't be a problem with this one. So yeah, age group, you can wear it in your teenage, 16, 17, 18. And you can wear it, you know, at 60. I'm not, I'm not saying they're the best choices. If you're 60, there are better choices out there. But if I, like I said in my Thallium video, if I sniffed at an older guy wearing this, I wouldn't be sitting going, oh, that's too young for him. I'd sit and go, he smells not bad actually. But yeah, so where to wear this one? Spring, perfect. Summer, perfect. Autumn, perfect. Winter, perfect. The only thing is it might falter in autumn and winter because of the performance isn't the best. But you can over apply if you're in doubt. So all seasons, this one's perfect. So where to wear this? Work, perfect. Clubbing, perfect. Date, perfect. Casually going to the pub, sitting about the house, doing nothing, watching episodes of House from season one or Breaking Bad. Perfect for that as well. So versatility, yeah. You could also dress this one up. You could if you wanted to. Um, it wouldn't smell terrible, but there are much better options for dressing up. So versatility, it, you can use it to dress up. But what I mean, I'm just basically what I'm saying is you can use it to dress up to a formal event. The question is, would you want to? Hey guys, I'm going to take Black Oud and Intense Cafe and ignore them. I'm going to wear this. Really? I don't want to wear Aventus. I want to wear Invictus. I mean, listen to the name, Invictus Aventus. It's like they tried to take the piss out of Aventus and failed. I mean, really? Aventus is my number one favourite of all time. This is not. There you go. So, yeah. That's about it. So, you can wear this one, but there are better options. So, versatility, pretty damn good. So, overall, yeah, that's my review of Paco Band's Invictus. It's not a masterpiece. It's not incredible. It's not groundbreaking. But it's not the worst scent ever made. It's not the worst. It's not terrible. It smells pleasant. It has decent performance. The bottle's ugly, I admit, but think about it here. Smells good, performs well, and it's pretty damn versatile. I mean, you really can't complain with this one. It isn't the worst smell in the world. It's not amazing. Again, if I had to choose between this and those, only the Brave, you know, I'd choose only the Brave every time. But still, Packer Band's Invictus, not bad. Doesn't deserve the hate. Please do get your nose on it before you start judging it. Thank you. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions you have in this sent, leave them in the comments below. Send me a YouTube message, send me a Facebook message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So, as always, guys, keep on smelling fly. I'm waving this instead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.